man, we still got those guys back there. Back there listening in. What are they listening in? What are they watching me for? <laughs> All right, guys. I know y'all, uh, if you're watching the the posts that I'm, I'm making, you're aware that I caught the assistant chief of police of Hempstead, Texas, asleep in his patrol car um, a few nights ago. So I'm not going to play the entire video because it is lengthy. Uh, it's about 20 minutes long and it's really kind of boring. It's just really kind of boring. But I'm going to get to the uh, my body camera footage here in just a second. So just some background on this. He is off duty um, working an extra job. All right. When I walked up, it appeared he was sleeping. And I catch sleeping cops all the time. You tap on the window, they wake up. Oh, yeah, I'm sleeping. What about it? Who cares? Whatever, whatever. This guy didn't do that. All right. And there are people taking me to task saying, oh, leave them to die. Leave them for whatever. And, you know, I'm better than that. And I hope you are, too. I would not leave somebody to die. Um, if I could reasonably help them, I would. Uh, that, that's, that's just how I am. Uh, and there'll be people that say, oh, well, there was a guy that drowned and you videotaped it. The police were there. It wasn't my scene. It wasn't something I needed to intervene in. I thought the police had it. Okay. As a matter of fact, I was told to stay where I was by the police. If you've seen that video, you know what's up. But I digress. Let me, uh, let me get to this video and there'll be a little bit of narration along the way. All right. Here we go. The FBI guys, y'all, are y'all recording? Y'all got, y'all getting this? Y'all getting this, FBI guys? All right, just making sure. <laughs> All right, so we are walking. There's the patrol car. Patrick's up there shining the light in the windows. We pause that. So as it turns out, the guy has a like a screen up on the window to block, I guess, light or something. I don't know. Um, but you couldn't couldn't see through it. You have to go around the passenger side and look in. And again, I figure the guy's sleeping. We're going to tap on the window, and, and that's going to be the extent of it. All right? Walk the other side of the car, Patrick. Is he awake? Hey, look at Pat Craig. State certified peace officer. Okay, sit down, sit down, sit down. Patrick. No response. Now, I'm going to speed this up so you guys don't have to set through everything. Um, you know, I beat on that window for, I thought it was 10 minutes. It's actually about six minutes repeatedly. I'm tapping on the, tapping on it, tapping on it, um, and not getting a response. Um, that is unusual. And to me, it would indicate, I mean, sitting in a running vehicle, you could get carbon monoxide poisoning. You know, any number of things could have happened. Uh, I don't know if the guy's diabetic and he's, he's having a diabetic uh, incident. There's no telling, you know, maybe he's, you know, any number of things. All right. He's not responsive. Let me call, let me call an ambulance. Call okay. He's not responsive. Let me get 911. Okay. Plate number is D. In nine whiskey. Okay, let me stop that. Y'all don't need the plate number. <laughs> what's interesting about this is not what happens here. It's what happens when the sheriff's department, Harris County Sheriff's Department, shows up. Police car with his lights on and he's he's unresponsive. Now this is me on the phone with nine one one. 
I've beat, I've beat on the windows. I've done everything, and he's unresponsive. My name is Warden, W-O-R-D-E. Yeah, we don't need to get into, y'all don't need to hear my phone number and everything. Here we go, hold on. Okay. Okay, he's first. Pay attention to what's happening here. He it's apparently it's him on a on a radio, a speaker phone, saying, you know, y'all don't need don't be knocking on my windows. Okay, but he's not well, I'll let, let the video play. Just make sure nothing. Do not knock on my windows. Okay, I guess he's okay. My bad. Okay. Okay, okay. 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 He, he's telling us to quit knocking on his windows. <laughs> he he just what he just said, he used his loudspeaker to say that not knock on his windows again. Hold on, I'll, I'll walk up to his window and see if I can get him to respond. Okay, stop, stop. Hold on just a second, sir. I'm on the phone with 911. Could you tell them you're okay, officer? Look, I'm on the phone with 911. Can you tell them you're okay? Okay, he's not, he's not answering. He just, I don't know what's going on. Maybe he's having like a diabetic fit or something. I don't know. He got on his loudspeaker and said, don't beat on my doors, on my windows. I see, I'm not, I'm not lying to the 911 operator. I'm being forthcoming. I'm telling the truth, okay? I'm not trying to instigate an incident. Oh, that's what you're doing. You're instigating an incident. No, I'm not, okay? I was genuinely concerned for this man, whether he's been, a, I would have done it for a police officer or anybody else I found in that situation. I was genuinely concerned for this person's well-being and safety. He's wearing a shirt that says, I, I can't read it. It's a, uh, it, it's got a badge on it and it says Texas police officer or Texas peace officer. So now the first unit that shows up is a state trooper. And then the Harris County Sheriff's Department unit starts showing up right afterwards. Now what I want to point out to you is, is how police, police are frequently ambushed in their vehicles okay and so this officer is a hazard not only to himself but to other officers and i'll explain why because when you call in an officer down for whatever reason these other officers that are coming they're running code like maniacs okay they all want to be the first one there to be the hero and they will kill you they will kill me they run through intersections, they run through stop signs, they run through red lights without paying attention to what's going on around them and people get hurt. So this officer is placing not only himself in jeopardy because somebody could walk up there and ambush him, but the officers that are responding, their lives are in jeopardy as well. Now, if I were a police officer and I did all ran a code to get there in a hurry thinking I got an officer down and I get there and find out the guy's sleeping, I'm gonna be upset with that officer. Not with the people that called it in because the people that called it in were doing the right thing. And you're gonna hear a Harris County Sheriff's deputy tell me that I should not be calling in sleeping police officers. They know what? I don't know anything. I knocked on your window for 10 minutes and asked you if you were okay. You responded zero. I'm your reportee. No. No, no. Nope. So y'all need to get out of the way. Where do you want us to go? I'm your complainant. I'm your complainant. Okay. I beat on his I beat on his window for I see that now, but he wouldn't answer us. I was on the phone. I showed I showed the phone and said I'm calling 911. We didn't tell me anything. He didn't respond. Look at me. Have you responded to me or talked to me at all? No. Not once. How you like the attitude of that female deputy? By the way, uh, I had seen her earlier in the night on a traffic stop and tried to get her name and badge number, and she refused to give it. Jesus Harris, Christ. Harris County Sheriff's Department at work. There you go. Uh, while I had the 911 operator on the phone, I was beating on his window. She told me to beat on the window. I did that. He did not respond once. Y'all were on my team 
Yeah, I just went up there. No. Is that what you want me to do? I find a police officer unresponsive in an emergency vehicle. You don't want me to, to, to do anything, take no action. Is that what you're telling me? There you have it, guys. It is the policy, the new policy written by this lady deputy of the Harris County Sheriff's Department that if you find an unresponsive police officer somewhere, you should walk away. Let them, let them sleep, let them die, let them do whatever they're doing. Walk away. Don't call anybody. Don't tell anybody. Take no action. Next time, maybe I won't call 911 next time. Damn. I swear, is, this, is it really this stupid around here? No. By the way, this is District 5 of the Harris County Sheriff's Department. District 5, if you recall the deputy from Harris County Sheriff's Department that said I needed to be run over, same district. No surprise there. Okay. All right, who's going to take a report? I give you my ID. Who's run the report? Well, you just had a 911 call for an officer unresponsive. You're going to have to make at least an information only report. He's turned out, he's responsive now. It's not, yeah. Are you going to make a report or not? If you're not, that's fine. Which report would you like me to make? I, I I don't know what I'm going to like that attitudes nice and professional and then let's go over here and talk to our sleeping assistant chief of police from Hempstead Texas huh? That's not Hempstead, that's Hempstead, H-E-M-P, Stead, Hempstead. Are you taking a report? No report's done. Okay, okay. I, I don't know who you are, okay, but I will know tomorrow. No, I, I didn't, I was on the phone with 911. Dude, I beat on your window for 10 minutes. All you have to do is crack the window and say, I'm okay. I see a police officer unresponsive in the vehicle, and you think I shouldn't call the police? Okay, all right. I didn't hear you, but that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I, I got the plate number. I'll run the plate. Can you an answer? All right, I'm done with this. That's correct. He uh, refused to identify himself after all that mess, and... Um, you know, we had to ID him another way. So Hempstead Police Department apparently doesn't care if their police officers sleep in vehicles, doesn't care that they place the lives of uh, their own, themselves and other officers in danger. <coughs> and see, this is what I always say. You don't find cops on the street doing bad things unless the people higher up are willing to look the other way. This guy wants to sleep on his extra job and the people that pay him are okay with that. That's between him and them. But when you get caught and citizens question what you're doing, to get that attitude is egregious. You just got, we don't know who you are. We don't know what's going on. I didn't. So to give that kind of attitude and response to the citizens is really indicative of a department that has systematic issues, deep rooted issues. And uh, for those of you that are unaware, Hempstead does not have the best reputation here locally. That's it guys. I. I'm so disgusted by that whole incident that it's just, it's just unreal. But uh, if you guys, I will put the uh, <coughs> contact information for the PD in the description for those that wish to use it. Um, other than that, I will see you again soon. Y'all be safe.